Hello everyone, I hope all are doing great. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss, it's like, you know, uh, a simple uh, number sequence, uh, like uh, it's not a, like entire number sequence, actually we can call it as an auto increment field. Okay, so let's see like how it goes. For example, so let me tell you what, uh, like what we are going to achieve. Okay. So, for example, if you have any field, okay, if you have any field and you wanted to create any uh, like new field, okay, and again, if you wanted to create one more new field, that should be increment by one. So, uh, we can just do it by this method. So, you can just uh, have a look, okay. If your requirement matches this, you can just uh, um, have a look on this and see there is a table here and there is a form, okay. So I have already created a table and form and I have one field called ID field. Okay. And uh, this is actually what I have done is I have, this is a real field that I have created. This is a real data type field. And I have gave, I gave EDT. It's an extended data type as line num. Okay. So I gave uh, the extended data type as line num and the, uh, the type the data type of this particular field is id okay i have created this and later part i have created one index okay i have created one index and i have added that particular id to the index okay so i have created index and i have added that particular id to the index later what we have to do is after adding the field and index we have to create a form and we have to drag and drop whatever the table that we have. We have to drag and dr drop the table. And after that, coming to the data source, we have to go to the data source properties. Okay, we have to get, uh, go to the data source property. And whatever the counter field that we have given, like ID we need, right? For that particular ID only we need it. So the counter field, whatever the counter field that has, I have already selected this. Okay. After selecting this, what we have to do is now whenever we are trying to create the new record, we have to like uh, it should increment, right? So what we have to do is we have to override insert method because when we are trying to insert it only, we have to uh, get uh, that particular auto increment uh, field. When uh, So uh, just uh, check for uh, insert. So, sorry, create. I'm extremely sorry. We have to check for a create because when we are trying to create a field, right? So, sorry about that. So, create, override create method. So, after that, so make this uh, value, like default value of append parameter to be true because you cannot give, if you give false, you will be getting some uh, like um, a pause, a pause, a negative line numbers so that's the reason if you make it to true you'll be uh, able to generate a positive line numbers okay true make it to true after that so what we can do is after super what we can write is uh, our data source knowledge n o n o w l e knowledge data source dot make it as for refresh okay so this is a function that we are going to write refresh so save it so now what we'll do is we will just run this particular form and check whether we are getting trying to like we are whether we get uh, the auto increment of uh, a field or not okay let's uh, as i have already saved it now we'll run the form so we can, uh, as as I have told you in uh, previous uh, videos that we can run the form using um, many, I mean, we can open a form, okay, open or run a form uh, using many ways. We can open a form using X plus plus code. We can open a form using directly, We I mean, we have to set the form as startup object and we have to click on start or we can just, uh, you know, uh, go through. I mean, we have some shortcut keys like control plus F5. So we have many ways to open a form. Okay. So let's wait for a couple of minutes to open it. And uh, let's see. Thank you. 
so it's taking some time um okay so no problem sometimes it happens so what will do is i have uh, i wanted to add some other extra just here yeah. and we i have already created a index as well right so we have we'll just give that particular index here yeah now we'll run it so now the form got opened now what we'll do is we'll open this form and we'll just check so whether uh, i mean we are going to achieve this particular requirement or not okay line number so i i i'm just going to create a new um, create a field 1 2 so 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we are able to generate the auto increment right so in this way that you can if you wanted to create any like a new new record so you can just directly uh, use this particular edt for it let me just show you again so this particular edt you can use edt called line num and you can generate these uh, like these um, like you know auto increment like whenever you are trying to create a new record you will be able to see this Okay, that's it guys. Thanks. Subscribe for more. Thank you. Bye.